The first ever Miami Beach Invitational, a new style of racing being rolled out for the first time today in South Florida, and that meant plenty of sprinting throughout the day. Yeah, we weren't even quite sure how all of this was going to play out, but we knew there was going to be sprints every single lap. And knowing that, what we talked about earlier, fast action, maybe some crashes. We saw some in both men's and women's race. Here's one here, early on in the women's race, which disrupted the entire field. And then another crash as we got down inside of the 20 lap to go mark and several riders going down here. This was the biggest crash of the day in either race. Yeah, that was a pretty nasty one, and I hate to see it, but unfortunately it is part of the you know bike racing. But we do our best to make sure they're out there safe and having a good time. And then a familiar pattern starting with Miami Knights and the Denver Disruptors putting riders out ahead of the field and trying to take as many points as possible. Yeah, the Denver Disruptors definitely did an outstanding job of essentially padding the brake, knowing how to play the sprints. They did it almost effortlessly, essentially the entire race. Now, this was the end of the women's portion of the race. Pretty exciting end here. And while the team from CCB won that lap, the Denver Disruptors won on the women's side as a team. And here was Leah Kirkman with Frankie Andreo after. I'm here with Leah Kirkman from Denver Disruptors. A team effort, a team win. Tell me, what was it like being here in Miami? <laughs> wow, it was, it was incredible out there. Oh, what a hard event. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, I'm so proud of the team. We really worked well together and we're just so happy to come away with the win. You guys got some big points. A lot of teams have been using the substitutions. Did you come out at all? Because it was kind of chaos over there. What did you hear about that pit? Um, yeah, I, I actually raced the whole race. <laughs> Pretty tired, but um, we actually, we did quite a few substitutions and I think that played into our hand tactically. We had a few times we substituted a rider and then they were able to take points the next lap. So I think it's a, a really great addition to the race, adds a new dynamic. This is a team race, you scored a great amount of points. How weird is it now to sit back and see if your men can hold on to that lead? You know, I hope we inspired them and uh, we set the bar pretty high, but you know, I know they're super strong. It's been fun to train with them and, and we're just helping each other, inspiring each other. Well, it's great supporting each other. A fantastic race by the women with Denver Disruptors. Con congratulations. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> and then in the men's race, early on, we had a crash on the very first lap. Yeah, oftentimes when the race is so competitive, the first laps are so fast, you haven't really gone around the course at speed, and this is what you get. And it was fast and frantic with the pace being pushed early. This was on the back side of the course, and they were opening up gaps. Yeah, we did see Kelly Benefiz kind of coming to the front and making more of a race for themselves and sitting in third, fourth, and fifth place because Miami Knights and the Denver Disruptors basically set the tone for the race this weekend. And these were some of the riders coming out of the pits. A very hot, warm day, trying to stay fresh. The Miami Knights throwing riders towards the front, trying to get maximum points with those sprints. But everywhere the Miami Knights went, the Denver Destroyers were there to follow. And they were able to basically pad the break with two riders every time, as we heard them talk about in the finish. Two at least into five riders and uh, definitely showed in the results. And I'm glad Steve called them destroyers because that's what <laughs> they did. Not only did they disrupt, they destroyed it. And this is the finish, which is an amazing finish for Texas Roadhouse. They were the destroyers, the disruptors. They did it all today. Denver dominated, dominated. here in Miami Beach, Florida. And as a result, they were so completely dominant across the board. The whole team talked with Frankie Andreo. What an incredible race here with Noah, Riley, and Oscar at Denver Disruptors. Six riders, this is three of them, so tell me a little bit, Riley, about how the race went. I mean, it was full gas from the gun, and we were just trying to get the representation, you know, the positive numbers, three to one, you know, five and three, and uh, we were able to get that pretty quick on, getting the head start with the points, you know, adding on top of the women, so. So in the race, is it a matter of like looking to be able to get into the breakaway, or is it a matter of waiting for that sprint to be able to get the points? I mean, it depends on who you got. I mean, we saw our women do really well, and they were controlling, but then we could just kind of see how quickly the momentum can shift with the points on the line. So 
um, yeah, just kind of not getting on the back foot. Just once you're behind the eight ball, it gets so hard. So we had, you know, all five of us, uh, six of us rotating through and just making sure we're never never caught behind and always just kind of playing the numbers game and kind of each lap is different if you want to, you know, try to head up the road or just kind of wait in the sprint. Um, yeah, I just kind of got to feel it. A lot played out there. So congratulations, Denver Disruptors. And it's a good thing you didn't let down those women because they would have been mad. So enjoy race number one here in Miami. Congrats. And a substantial win for Denver with 138 points. Absolutely love this format. Love sprinting for laps every, every single lap. Uh, just outstanding racing. I think this is going to change how these riders uh, train. We get ready for the next race. And Denver, the big win over Miami today in South Beach.